feel me cause single <laughs> but anyway welcome back to y254 tv before i go to my next conversation it would be a disservice of me to tell you to give me feedback to talk to me to comment to like subscribe and everything so i want to take a few comments here and there nimona watu wametuma a lot of love thank you so much so i want to um read comments masalamu and a few here and there um, makoha anasema makoha morris anasema na muishia kabras tuned and watching nothing i'm doing this valentines charlie charles anasema good morning happy valentines mnakapoa stay tuned all the way from nyeri thank you uh, saint kodak anasema morning val and grasha happy valentine Thank you Val kwenye yako pia yeye ame receive yake Twist Ngogo Gororo anasema good morning good morning to you Ibrahim Yasir anasema good morning Waweru wa Westgate anasema good morning tune in Abraham Lukorito anasema I'm watching thank you Walker anasema good morning from Kitui West side za Kangondi massive following thank you so much Carol anasema good morning everyone Pra sing praises to our god I yeah thank you so much Carol Samuel Irungu anasema good morning. I am Mose Tracy anasema good morning. Eric Wanyama anasema Eric Chenenye from Riru Prison. Nothing to smile today since my relationship did not end well. Happy to those who are smiling. Oh, I'm sending flowers to you. I'm so sorry, so sorry for your loss, but we are here to radiate your morning. Usiboeke manze tukiwa hapa. Then John anasema musoko mark me present. Then Willie anasema happy Valentine's to you Val. Uh, watching the show from Naivasha. Val umesalimiwa na mtu hapo. Why in the morning watching from Narok Massive. Happy Valentine's to you queens. Uh, that is Monique. Thank you. Glenn, thank you so much for the love. There are so many. Good morning watching live from Vihiga. Then there is someone else anaitwa Ngoliana anasema watching live from Voi. Kizito anasema watching from Wanda Bungoma County. John anasema following out Musoko area Kabushai constituency Bungoma County. Then there is Clifford anasema Mombasa tuned in. Msamali anasema watching live from Meru. Ma from Nyeri, Wesley anasema tuned. Then there is Julius Murega anasema happy Valentine's. Thank you so much. Then kukona Jaden anasema ametutumia maua. He has sent flowers to us. And then Gidinji anasema okay. Then kukona mwingine anasema following John Wehanya. Hey, that's so much love, so much love. Thank you so much. Keep saying keep sending your love we want to receive it i will be still i'll still be reading every comment as it comes i'm going to definitely do that but we are from the otoris wametuambia they dated for 6 months after 6 months wakafunga hiyo kitu wakasema ni hivyo sasa wakaingia marriage and it has been amazing 3 years now we are shifting gears to talk to a relationship coach wewe uko hapo nyumbani unashangaa mapenzi mbona hai workout for you uko hapo nyumbani unashangaa kwa nini ni kama na meet wase and it's not working we are here the relationship coach is here to answer that and much more questions so ladies and gentlemen allow me to welcome Alan Lawrence who is a relationship coach yeah karibu sana Alan thank you so much uko na mtu well i didn't see that coming <laughs> <laughs> Like you know, uh, do you have someone? Ukola mpoa, ulimpea maua, umemtumia ka message, nimetumua message hapo inataka kunifanya nisikie kulia nikiwa sent. Okay, interesting. Yeah, there is someone in my life. Yeah. Father Lord, shantala mahande. <laughs> Receive oh. it. <laughs> yeah. Thank ah, you. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. let me let me ask you. Yes. When is let me picking from the authorities, yeah. I want to pick to pick up from um they dated, they dated for six months, then mm. they got married. Yeah. When is there, is there an appropriate time for dating? Well, interesting. You know, first of all, before even we get there, the thing is uh, uh, the aspect of maturity as a person, first of all, before even you look at the, t the time frame for you to date. So are you mature enough to handle the dynamics of a relationship? Because naturally a human being, especially for ladies, uh, start to mature at the age of 24. That is when this person is ready for marriage or rather for a serious relationship. Because you look at it, even the government itself cannot allow you to vote. 
uh, before you attain the age of 18. Mm -hmm. So how can we entrust you with some serious decisions of your life and yet you've not matured enough? And maturity is not an aspect uh, of age as per se. It's all about are you willing, are you, are, are you ready to commit, are you ready to get into this thing with uh, the seriousness that it deserves? And for a man, mostly men, we, ma we mature at the age of 25 going forward. So mm -hmm. that is when you can be able to, to sustain and be able to uphold a serious relationship. So uh, when it comes to the aspect of dating, it's, it's you now to, to have timelines. Because the moment um, approaching a lady as a man, from a man's perspective, I already know the direction of this relationship. So no matter the time, I can stay there for 10 years, you get. But the essence is, I don't know, I, I, like I'm sure, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life with, with mm -hmm. you. So you, you need to be very serious about it. So, and also for, for the lady, because for lack of a better word, you guys, you are at the disadvantage point for you because you are there to be like for someone to approach you. So you need to have a higher bargaining power. Ask this person, how long are we going to date? You get, it is a serious, uh, uh, serious business that you have to be very, very, very serious about it. So do not date for eternity. You need to have clarity from the very onset. Ask them, don't shy away. Ask them, how long? Because you might hey. stay there for, yeah. Hey, so Nikinga, a relationship. Yeah. What you're trying to tell me is that, for how long are we doing this? For how long are we doing this? Because the moment I, su I, I ah. see you as a, la uh, uh, as a lady, mm -hmm. I already know. So no matter what, because I don't believe this aspect of, uh, this person broke up with me suddenly. They broke up with you the very moment they saw you. But they were just hiding and looking for uh, oh an opportunity. Wow. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Just pain. You mean I'm thinking, let's go and I'm trying to break up. Now, me, me, I'm going to break up. Now, me, me, I'm going to break up. So how do we? How do we go about it? How do we know? Because sometimes mm. we, as women, mm. we, we fall in love with what you hear. We fall in love with what we will hear. So how do we know? And a man will get what he wants. Mm. So a man will tell you, oh, babe, nakupenda, I want to, mm. to marry you for... <laughs> you know, they, they will tell you all the sweet nothings yeah. for you wing a box. Yeah. So how are, how are we ensuring that PSC at Jachezwa? The thing is, uh, it's not about what somebody says. It's about the consistency. It's about uh, the actions behind what they say. Mm. So do not uh, look at the first value. Look at how this person treats you. And it begins from a, uh, a point of view understanding, who am I? Do you love the person in the mirror? Because you cannot expect another person to love you at the expense of you not loving yourself. Even the Bible clearly says, uh, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So it, have, it has to begin with you. So love, your, love yourself so much so that whenever this person comes in your life, they will not be like they are doing you a favor, you understand? They'll be like, we are partners, we are doing this together. So it is an aspect of you understanding your love language, and loving yourself so much that you don't need validation from the other person. So they are coming just to compliment you and not to complete you. So when you, when you begin from that clean slate, you, the two of you can be able to have uh, uh, this discussion and know and spot the red flags. If this person, uh, like those small, small things that people tend to ignore, this person uh, tells you that we are to meet at, at, let's say, at 9, and they come, like, let's say, at 10.30, then you ignore them. Let me tell you, those are the red flags that people tend, uh, you, you, you leave them for some time. That's mm -hmm. why if, you, if the snake you ignore, it's in the book of Genesis, mm -hmm. it will become the dragon that it will kill you in Revelation. So the same case in relationships. So if you are going to ignore those small, small red flags, you paint them to your preference, then it will, uh, it will work against you. So who should make the first move? Initially, uh, a man. Why? Because men, we are hunters. We know what we want. So the first move is, uh, it, it's a man. Traditionally, it's a man. And uh, you as the lady, because we are partners, you know what you are signing yourself into. You also have a say into it. You know, uh, I, I can clearly say this. A man knows when the relationship should happen. And it's a lady who knows when intimacy will happen. Repeat that. <laughs> it's a man who knows when the relationship will uh, happen. Mm -hmm. And it's a lady who knows when intimacy will happen. So it, intimacy, in, it, the w what I mean by intimacy is not... Is no, is, is not necessarily. Yeah. It is how you connect. Mm -hmm. Because I can pursue you for long. Mm -hmm. But you are the one to determine, okay, you, you understand? Mm -hmm. So it is, it is 
the two of you need to collaborate. Yeah. Ah, amazing. And have a serious co conversation because 99% uh -huh. of a relationship is not anything, it's all about communication. And how well do you know that this person is committed, the patterns of, of their communication? Communication will never lie. Communication depicts the level of commitment in a relationship. Yeah. Amazing. So what of these women when you want to say, Manga, what are you propose, what are you idea? <laughs> the thing is, uh, it depends. It depends because if this guy has shown you signs, and before even we get to that, please, brothers, the thing is, do not give mixed uh, signals to a lady. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do, and you've not spoken, there is nothing you've done. I'm handling a case of a, uh, of a guy who has been buying phones, iPhones, you know. Hey! Yes. And, and, and you know, you've Chai, not communicated. <laughs> and you've not communicated to this lady. So he's buying her gifts. Yes. And he's not communicated anything. This lady ends up in another Me, you are mine. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you are mine. So, <laughs> you get. So the lady apparently got involved with another guy. So this guy is complaining, oh, I'm like, bro, you didn't communicate. So any love that you've not communicated is vague. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, for every lady, the desire of every lady, no matter how independent you are, if a man gives you love, there is a way you glow, there is a way, you know, you just feel the, the the small girl in you manifesting. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's 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 not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Sometimes people will be like, yeah, this lady is materialistic. No, she's not. She just wants, if you are the man in her life. Mm -hmm. You know, when I come into your life, I need to come in three dimensions. Uh -huh. I need to come as your father. Eish. I need to come as your brother. Uh -huh. I need to come as your partner. So if I'm not willing to navigate the three faces, mm -hmm. let me leave you alone. Okay. As a father? Yeah. As a brother? partner? Yeah. And as a, a brother. Ah, so how do you play these roles? What because it's one thing to to say, to tell someone mm. that a man will come into their life as a father, as a brother, as a partner, and then there are some women mm. who will now sit and wonder. <laughs> you know, probably take us through that. Okay, there is a time. There is a time you just want, uh, like as a lady, there is a time you just want someone to give you a fatherly advice, a fatherly love, mm. you get. Mm. Because uh, always ladies will always tend to marry the man figure in their lives. Mm. The like let's say you grew up with your dad, you had the privilege to grow up with your dad. So always you will look at this man as your father in the first place. Then you want that brother whereby you guys can just bond, you know, and become best of friends, those sibling rivalry, you know, you, the way you just navigate. Mm. Then there is now the love aspect, whereby this, pers this person is my significant half, and we'll be able to, to navigate life together. Yep. Ah, yep. amazing. Yep. So, um, in the area of um, relationships, yes. so many issues affect, especially yes. today being Valentine's. Yeah. We need to talk about money. money. You know, um, I don't know how I want to ask this question. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I want to be very sensitive. Yes. So I, I want to ask, mm. what makes Valentine's Valentine's? Is wow. it the money? Yeah. Is it the flowers? What really? Because there's so much hype about Valentine's. Everyone is out there. We've seen uh, the streets. Vendors, uh, yeah. Valentine's has, has, has shown us how the streets are looking. Mm. And there's pressure mm. for people. Pr pressure will only come if you've not been uh, showing this person love. It is immaturity and uh, being very insensitive that you only need for our, uh, you need an occasion to prove your love for someone. Mm -hmm. Every day is an opportunity for you to prove love to this person. Uh, I, I, I always say this, uh, love is like a prison. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you do not get into a relationship based on feelings. You get into a relationship based on commitment. So I'm committed to loving this person despite their flaws, despite their shortcomings. So I will be there for you. I will love you the way I want you to love me. You understand? So I do not need a special occasion for me to prove love. I understand out here people are having pressure so much that you have you've gone all those mm. so that to prove your love. And that one is not 
it is not intrinsically coming from you. You are just trying to do based on what people are dictating unto you. So you, you should not wait for a special occasion. Just love the person the way you are. Then the aspect of finances and romance. Mm -hmm. The thing is, most people do not have this discussion. But the sad reality and the, 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 the reality on, on ground is there is no way you can, be, uh, you can do romance without finance. Even you going out there. This is the reality that we need to have. Money is not everything, but it, in, it enhances love. You understand? Mm -hmm. So there is a way today uh, your partner takes you, not necessarily on a Valentine, today like your partner takes you to Dubai, you understand, for a holiday. The way you love this person in Dubai, mm -hmm. will it be the same way we love this person in, Karo, in some, <laughs> some, some dingy place? You understand what I'm, what I'm yes, saying? Yes, I do. So, and it is not about the money as per se. There are two kinds of people who in love. There are people uh, with means and there are people who are mean. Ah. You understand? Mm. So you can have the means, but you are not philanthropic. You are, you are mean. You understand? Mm. So the thing is, when a serious person and a, 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 a philanthropic person, mm -hmm. they do not need to match to prove love. Mm. They will do whatever they have to do with what they have. But a person who is mean, they will look for excuses. They'll be like, Ata mimi sina pesa. And bro, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it pains me. Uh -huh. You find a man spending most of his time trying to explain his poverty to a lady. Let me tell you, by the fact that this lady uh, comes in your life, she already saw it. So don't explain yourself. Rudia your parts. <laughs> very, very important. Yeah. <laughs> so do not uh, try to explain so much. Mm -hmm. You understand? By the time this lady, and you are authentic, this lady comes in your life, she already saw it. She already saw your status. So you have to be very, very serious and do what you can do within your means. Do not kill yourself trying to prove a point. The moment you want to prove a point, it's, it's clear now that you do not have whatever you, you are trying to portray. Mm -hmm. You understand? If you are the person who you are, this person will eventually love you. Because ladies have their way of seeing you, you are five years down the line. So if you are serious enough and living within your potential, living within your purpose, being real with yourself, this lady will love you the way you are. You don't need to have much to prove your love to this person. And the idea of Valentine is not about the quantity. It's about the idea around it. You understand? So today I can buy even chocolate. You get it is about the the the, the, the razzmatazz around <laughs> around <laughs> around the the presenting of the mm -hmm. gift that matters mm -hmm. because we want to create memories. The goal is for you to make your lady or your partner be uh, like fall in love with you even more. Mm. Do not make a point that your partner will be jealous of other people's relationship or admire other people's relationship. Le the goal should be other people to admire your relationship mm -hmm. by the way you love your partner. Mm -hmm. You do not need much to prove your love for a person. Let's talk about love languages in, yes, in, a, very rela in a relationship. Very important. Of course, there are five love languages. Yes. How should people ensure that um, they love their partner in their language? Because mm. I have I have seen people a couple assuming me and you're in a relationship. Yes, mm. Your love language is gifts. Mm. My love language is quality time. Mm. You want to love me with gifts. Mm. Me, I want to love you with quality uh, time. Quality How do we make that relationship work? Wow, interesting. And that is most of the uh, that is a challenge most people go through. Uh, the best way for you to enjoy a relationship or rather love is for you to communicate your love language. Mm -hmm. Do not try to communicate my love language without you communicating your love language. Mm -hmm. Let me go the direction you are taking. Like, my love language is, is gifts. Eh? So, no matter, like, I should be able to communicate gifts to you. So, I should be buying you gifts. So that you understand that this person uh, 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 loves gifts. So, if all of us, we are, we are going to take care of what we are bringing in the relationship, what we are going to get out of the relationship will sort itself out. And what do I mean? If today uh, I, I buy you gifts, I bring you gifts, so you'll be like, okay, this person loves gifts. But most of us, we get it wrong. We, we want some people to treat us the way we've not treated them. So you do not love the other person. You should love yourself by doing what you want the other person to do unto you. So if 
you you love quality time so then mm. you should be uh, endeavor to give me quality time mm. you you understand and i endeavor to give you gifts so through that we will be able to merge so by the time i'm bringing you gifts by the uh, by the time i'm bringing you gifts and you are coming to take the gifts that is when we spend time we sit there we discuss some destiny altering decisions that we have to make you know and when we go out there for dates is not for you to order meals like for your fifth generation. No, it's for you to have a serious discussion. <laughs> I was getting there. <laughs> but what do people, what should people do in a date? I was getting there. Okay. Uh -huh. So what, what should people do, uh, be? No, be you've already started talking about it, so you can actually continue. What, okay. do, what should people do in a date? Because all people carry in a date is nice clothes and appetites. And, and applying lipstick, lipstick. After, after two mm. minutes. Uh, please stop that thing. It's nice to sit down. Have serious discussion. Have a, a question. Ask me about finances. You know, people shun away from asking. Uh, especially a lady will be like, ah, this guy will, will look at me as if I'm a gold digger. No, you get. Ask them, how do you make your money? It's not that you're interested, but you be able to know if I'm coming into the life of this guy, I'm coming as a helper. What am I really coming to help? Mm. You, you get. So you should not just be there and be taken for a ride. Ask those serious discussion. How many children do you need to, uh, do, are we looking at? Mm. So that we look at where are we going to meet, you understand? So that period for you to date, like let's say, for those people who are dating for six months, that period is for you to understand this person, you get. So uh, uh, at that particular time, when you are out there for dates, ask those serious questions. What is your religion? Who mentors you? Because a person who do not have a covering or rather an authority figure they look up to, that is a time bomb. Run for your life. Why? Because if we are seated here mm. and it's all powerful, let me tell you, it will uh, work against you. You have to have a, a person, a data person who today you tell me like, you know what, Lawrence, I'm going mm. to report you to so-and-so. Mm. You'll see me cave in. You'll see me like uh, remorseful, mm. all those kind of things. Mm. So it is very important. Ask them about their, uh, their, their religious life you, you get. So they should be able to have that clear roadmap, you need to know who uh, who am I getting to 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 meet. So then the other thing is also look at um, the patterns in their lives. People tend to run away. Today I, I I get a lady out for a date. Then all we are seated there, I ask them about their exes, and all they are saying that this person was so bad. This person. Let me tell you, Kwanu, are you the angel? <laughs> you understand? So yeah. if you did the same thing unto them, you did it unto me. Patterns in relationship will never lie. I have more than one baby mom. I have two baby mamas. Then I'm here promising you uh, a long-lasting marriage. Let me ask you, what makes you think you are special? Because those are some of the serious questions we should be asking. Mm. i be vulnerable with you. And, 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 and let me come clearly, tell you my weaknesses. I mm. acknowledge that you know what. Uh, but you need to be very serious and very careful when you manifest your weaknesses to this person so that this person will be able to help you overcome them, so that you become the better version of yourself. Today, let's say, I broke up with my ex over something. Then I need to have a serious discussion with you, and I acknowledge my mistakes. What was my role in that breakup? Mm. So that in this, in this one, we get it right. Ah, mm. amazing. So we need to carry lessons from yes. our previous relationship. That is why it's an ex. Why it's an example. Why do you think most relationships are not working, especially for Gen Z's? Uh, because people uh, get into relationships with high expectations. Uh -huh. People get into a relationship as if it is a garage, as if it is a rescue mission from themselves. People are not realistic with themselves. So they are looking uh, 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 at a place whereby they can just carry themselves, run away from the realities, and be like, okay, uh, we here we are. Mm -hmm. So you find some people, they run away from their financial responsibility. Mm -hmm. They come to compound on, on, my p on, on their partner. Mm -hmm. So they are looking for an escape god from their realities. So that is where, where people get it wrong. Because I need to be a fulfilled single. A crocodile in, in, in Kenya cannot be, a, uh, cannot be an alligator in, in the US. It will <laughs> still be a crocodile. Mm -hmm. So why, what am I saying? It is a question of you being a fulfilled single if you are going to have a fulfilled relationship. So you need to be a, a, a satisfied single so that you be a satisfied person in a relationship. Amazing. As we... Oh, Jesus. Time, eh? Yeah, I know. When you're having a good time, time yeah. flows very it fast. It is well. But as, as, as we are in the mood of 
Valentine's yeah. love. Yeah. Um, what's that one thing you'd wish people in relationships know? One thing people in relationships should know is um, love, 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 love formed on uh, basis of on feelings mm -hmm. is very fickle, but love uh, founded on the on the basis of you knowing that I'm committing the rest of my life with mm -hmm. this person, mm -hmm. it will be long lasting because you need the two of you to be united against the world, not you divided against the world. And uh, wisdom has a way of building a house. Invest so much in in in, in knowledge before you get into that relationship because i believe it is where you invest that is where you harvest so spend so much time investing in your relationship spend so much time investing in in each other so that you be uh, so much grounded mm -hmm. for you to navigate the the challenges of a relationship yeah um finally yes how oh, time is too short but I finally know. yeah what lessons do you want singles to take uh, single Bef before uh, before they get into a relationship or as they get into a relationship interesting I will pick a lesson from my book called before you think of dating and one thing uh, I will tell the single mm -hmm. is um, before uh, uh, before you think of getting a life partner mm -hmm. get a life <laughs> hey, that yeah. was a stopper <laughs> Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. For that is me. the only lesson yes. you want them to catch. Yes, yes. Ah. Yeah, before they think of a life partner, let them get a life. I think we need to have a part two of this conversation. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we, we, will, we will book you, yeah. get a part two of this conversation because yeah. there's so much, especially with the way young people are killing each other, love triangles, yeah. LGBTQ has come in. There's so much. Yeah. I feel like we have an identity crisis in the true. place of relationships true, true. with young people. But yeah. Alan, thank, thank you, so you so much, much for appreciate. coming. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yeah. We really appreciate you. Yeah. I feel like it has been a minute. I didn't <laughs> no. even see how that <laughs> went. Yeah. That was Alan Lawrence talking to us about giving us nuggets of wisdom. Re man <laughs> being told we should go home, but let me say this. That was Alan Lawrence giving us uh, nuggets of wisdom concerning relationships. I love his last statement. As a single person, before you get a life partner, get a life for yourself. People in relationships, meambiwa, your relationship is yours. Sikama yenye koko kwa grapevine, make your relationship yours. Don't pressurize yourself too much. Love your loved ones today. What we wako kwa Lent, wameanza Lent, all the best. Uh, pray for us. Those of you that are going to go out for dates, enjoy those dates, but umambiwa carry questions. Don't go there with your appetite alone. Carry some substance in your head underneath that expensive wig you will wear. Please, Biko, carry one for the team. But anyway, that is, <laughs> that is it from Mass at the Broadcasting House. We are so glad you made time for us. Thank you so much. This was our special edition of valentine's production god bless you have a lovely day my name is grace mindy we meet tomorrow same time same place same everything